I'm making lumpiang sariwa. It's a type of Filipino spring roll, if you may, that's made out of crepes that are filled with a delicious veggie stir fried topped with a yummy garlic sauce. It's super light, refreshing, and satisfying, and it's something that I love making for my mom. First up is the crepe batter. Super simple to make. All you have to do is mix up some flour, two eggs, a little salt. Just give it a good whisk. Now when you think of a fresh spring roll, you think about those transparent rice wrappers. But this, it's a lot heartier but still super light. That looks great. Now I'm gonna let this rest in the fridge for half an hour. My mom is such a strong personality, but she has such a kind heart. She's very generous and loving, and she's always been there. Even though she's been super busy for most of my life, she has made it a point to make me feel loved and appreciated. Now, I'm making the filling, which is filled with lots of yummy veggies. Traditionally, it's filled with some meat, like ground pork, maybe some shrimp, but I like my little twist on it. I add a little freshness with jicama, especially because I like making this for my mom. She loves this dish so much, but when she became vegetarian, I was like, hey, mom, let me try to make some of your favorite dishes. She's like, I don't know if you can make lumpiang sariwa. And I'm like, let me prove it to you. I will prove my love to you, mom. And she tasted it. She's like, mm, okay, it's good. The green beans, just wanna chop them up into little bits. Jicama is super refreshing. Mm, it's juicy. You can have it raw. I love it. I've got all my veg prep. It's ready to get stir fried. Drizzle in some oil. First up, I'm gonna add the onion and garlic. The moment onion and garlic hit the pan, smells like my mama. <laughs> Not that she smells like onions and garlic, but you know what I mean? It smells like mama's home cooking. All right, starting to brown up. Looking good. In goes the green beans. In Tagalog, which is a Filipino dialect. We call veggies gulay. And I can hear my mom now saying, eat your gulay. Yes, mom. Now for the carrots, the cabbage. To help the veggies cook a bit to wilt down and steam, I'm gonna add a little bit of water. Ooh, sizzling. And then flavor it with some soy sauce. It is a stir fry. I just wanna cook this until everything gets mostly tender. All right, that looks good. I'm gonna turn off the heat, add the crunchy jicama, a little bit of salt and pepper. I'm gonna switch this over to start making my sauce in this pot. This is gonna be really garlicky, savory, and a little bit sweet. So first thing I'm gonna do is heat it up, add water to the pot, add in a bunch of garlic, some brown sugar. Now for a little bit of soy. This helps round out that sweetness. But just let that cook so that the garlic can soften up in there, make the rest of that liquid super garlicky. While that cooks down, I'm gonna make a slurry. Got some cold water, along with a lot of cornstarch. The reason why I'm using so much cornstarch is because this is gonna be a thick sauce, like thick, T-H-I-C-C -C kind of thick. If you make the sauce too thin, it won't really stick onto the top of the lumpiang sariwa. You wanna give it time to coat the lumpiang in its loving garlickiness. The sauce has cooked enough to take some of that raw edge off the garlic, stir in that slurry, and you will see this instantly thick up. It's gonna look super cloudy at first, but as it cooks, it will become transparent and clear again. Just make sure you stir the bottom of it Get any of that slurry up and off of the bottom of the pan. The sauce has beautifully thickened up. Look at that thickness. I'm just gonna transfer it to a bowl. I've got a nonstick skillet here heating up that I'm gonna spray with some coconut oil. I like that flavor on the crepes. I pulled my batter out of the fridge. The pan's nice and hot. Just take a nice big ladle, dump in the center and move your pan around. Aim for a kind of circular crepe. You can kind of tell when it's ready to flip, when the surface is no longer wet, it's kind of set. Ready for the flip. There you go, let that cook for a little bit on the other side. And then I'll just keep making crepes.
Now to assemble. You just take one of the wrappers, then to act as a barrier, a little lettuce. I like to place it right there, sticking out a bit. Add in a little bit of your filling, some bean sprouts, fresh cilantro. Tear them up, pop them in. Now for the roll up. You take the bottom half, fold it up, kind of pull it together, and then nice and tightly wrap one edge and take the other, fold it over like a big hug, and then set it aside. I'm gonna make a few more. Now it's time to add that sauce. Just spoon that sauce very generously. If you're serving this for others, you don't add the sauce until just before you're about to eat. And then we love the crunch and lovingly sprinkle these all over. That is done. Love on a plate right there. It's going for this bite. Oh yeah. Mmm. Mmm. The flavors are amazing. The texture just brightens everything up. That soft, cradly crepe. Mm, it's love in each bite.